All right, what's going on gliders? This is a quick video showing you how you can implement in-app sorting that is specific to each user. So each user can sort according to their own preferences. Um, I saw a post by Fabio recently in the community forum, and this is a solution, I believe, to, to what he was looking for. So I'll show you how it works, and then we'll jump into the back end. So this is just a list of things from a collection, from a table. And we can sort by the name ascending, the name descending. We can sort by stock ascending or descending. You can have unlimited sorting options, as many as you want, and it'll sort according to that uh, selection. Uh, and you can also have it for multiple different tables. So in this case, this is the categories table, and we can sort by the count ascending very, very easily. It's also specific to each user. So I'm sorting with the count ascending, and Bob is also sorting with the count ascending, but if he was sorting by name, and I switch back to mine, we can clearly see that the sorting is different. So this is a pretty good solution, I believe, and we'll jump into the back end, and I'll show you how it works. So we go into the data table. The first thing you wanna do is add as many text fields as you have tables that you wanna sort. So in this case, I have two tables that I wanna sort. So I've got two text fields. And that's all that this is. This is just text. And when we're making that selection on the front end, it's just uh, adding the data. It's writing the data to this particular cell. Uh, so you can have unlimited users in terms of, and, and uh, unlimited sorting uh, variations. Then in the table that you would like to sort, you simply add a template column. And this template column is pulling in the user profiles sorting selection for this particular table. So in this case, we're in the things table. So we're selecting things. And then here we have an if then else column. And so we're saying if the user selection includes name, use the name in this column. If it, the user selection includes stock, use the stock in this column. And this is just pulling from the details of this table. And if the user selection includes category, use the category, right? So depending on what I'm selecting, right now, I'm selecting stock descending. If I came to here and selected stock ascending, we can see back in the things table that it's selecting the stock ascending, and then it's pulling in, because I've got stock in this selection, it's pulling in this particular value from this column. The same goes for any other table that you'd like to sort. You can see here that we are just pulling in from the user profile, my selection for categories, not things. So you can have quite a few options here. In this case, we'll stick with categories. And this is exactly the same. So if my selection includes name, put the name in this column. If it includes the count, put the count in this column. And then to save you from having to add many, many tables um, to give users the drop down options, what I've done is just created one table called sort by or sorting options. And then you can put as many as you want here and you can continue to add them. And then you just select where you would like to show this, right? So we can get rid of these. In this case, these first six, I want to show as a drop down for the things table. And since I don't have stock uh, or I don't really need to sort by category for the categories table. All I want to do is sort by name and count for these values. So I hope that makes sense and I'll show you how it works on the front end. So here we just have the choice component, right? And I'm currently in a page using users as the source. And what this choice component is doing is writing to the appropriate column. Right, so when I select stock ascending, it's gonna put that value in this particular cell. Um, and then what we wanna do is only filter the data. We only wanna show data that has the things checkbox checked, right? So we're excluding any options we don't wanna show and we're including all the options we do wanna show. And then for this table here, what we're doing is you're gonna to have to in order to sort by ascending or descending, you will have to have two instances of the same component. So here we have two tables 
And the first table is showing when the selection that I've made, my user profile sorting things selection includes an up arrow or it's empty, in which case it reverts back to the sheet order that it, the table, the rows appear in. Um, and what it's doing, and then it's just sorting in ascending, right? Because we have the up arrow over here. It's sorting the sorting by value in ascending order. And then when we jump into the next one, it's just the reverse. So when the component, when my selection includes a down arrow, we're, we're sorting that value that I've chosen in descending order. So to my knowledge, this is a fairly decent solution. I don't believe there's any current inbuilt uh, way to do this. Um, you can add the in-app filter, but it's a little bit different from sorting. So I hope that's helpful for people. Um, that's all really. If you have any questions, leave a comment. But uh, yeah, that, that's the solution I've been using and uh, it seems relatively streamlined and, and easy to implement. So cheers.